So what did it mean, medical bay inaccessible? Does that mean I'm not trying to go? No, it's still telling me to go there. I'm confused. But what's this? What are you? Stranded shackles. Okay. Is this like that necklace I found? I'm not quite figuring out what it's for yet. Uh, I'm gonna try this way. Oh, I just wanted to invite it wasn't accessible. Okay. Oh, that sucks. I got some... some shackles, so that's cool. I feel like I missed an interview, though. There was still that country guy. Maybe his is in the next room. Don't go down. Get her. What? Whatever Fuck. you do, don't die now. Alright. Okay, so Travis Tate, yeah. You know, those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird back in the day. I enjoyed schooling them. But maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute and just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor. Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. That's natural. Zero dawn and no ma'am, that ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural it'd be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. <laughs> she chewed one of her nails, too, just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. Okay, but why wasn't his counselor part of the video? I was I was waiting for it to be like he went crazy and killed the counselor or something. Alright. Zero dawn. It is odd. In a way, an expression on the grandest scale. But there is so much unfairness. Why was I chosen? Was it decided by committee? By algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Souve? Christina Souve? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the New Materialists. But he once attended one of my talks. Another unfair chance. Of all the many people in that auditorium. That we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair. Not at all. But for the sake of my family. For the sake of art. Art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history and echo in the future, not perish into oblivion. This opportunity, I must do this. I figured the way she was talking that she would have done it. All right, did I see everything back here? I came in through that door. Aha! Tom Pete. I Pet. asked it out with them. What the point of Artemis was. I made it clear I wasn't on board for a global zoo. We haven't exactly proved ourselves to be great custodians in the past few thousand years. So the idea of a reconstituted biosphere, well, it's horrifying, isn't it? A complete horror show. We have no right to take a best guess at this stuff. But the alternative? Nothingness. 
for there to have been all this and then nothing. And with Charles Ronson running the show, I respect him. He's got a passion to him. He's hot-blooded. So I said I'll do it. I'll put my all into this, literally. When the project is done, I'll take the medical option, thank you. The counselor said I might change my mind. I told him that he didn't know me very well then. For life's sake, I'll do the dirty work. But I want no part of this pathetic, attenuated future on offer. I'm an outdoors man. Never did like the feel of solid state lighting on my skin. And a wee bit of a claustrophobe, anyway. He made a very logical decision based on what he knows about himself. I respect that. He decided that he wanted to help humanity possibly live, but he didn't want to actually go through the process of dying out. Okay, I'll go over there in a second. What's over here? Why would you give me this area? Just to show me a locked door? Cool. I love locked doors. Here we go. Another one of these. Need to find the right configuration. Oh, another audio. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid okay. to clean up Brett's mess. Oopsie, no, no. I didn't mean to keep talking, even though I know what you're saying. I have to do the opposite of what's hey, on the thingy. I'm done with Brett's Up incompetence, left. okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If no, you right. want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker uh, out. And then down. No, wait. Up. Up for you? What? No. So that one would be... And then down. Did it work? Oh, no, that's just the opposite for that one. This is the opposite for this one. No, okay, it's opposite. No! Ah, oh, I first... Yeah, no, that's right, okay. Uh... Up and left. Is that not right? What did I get wrong? Are they supposed to go the other way? Is that what it means by backwards? Okay. Um, do they mean backwards like they're in the wrong direction, or backwards as in they do, like, it's back to front instead of front to back, so... This one would be... Right? No. No, because they would be backwards either way. Right? So maybe I just go... Oh, no, that one just, that one would stay. All the ones that are turned to the side would be backwards, so... I think. Possibly? I think I'm overthinking this. Alright, the ones that are pointed up, point down then. Thank you! Alright, first I want to make sure I got everything in this room. Cool. Nothing to scan though. There's nothing up there. <gasps> there is something up there. That's the emitter. Let me up there. Let me at it. <laughs> you suck. Oh. Maybe there's a storage area nearby. Upstairs. I saw it before it even did the thingy. Yeah. No? It said a piece was missing. How do I get up there? 
that's the piece. So I gotta get up from over there. Probably the other side of the wall. I just don't want to miss anything. I'm so nervous. You have no idea. Ladder is a good sign. I like a good ladder. A little emitter. Can I pick it up? Found one. Looks intact. Well, if that's what I'm looking for, then what's this? Just a bunch of supplies. Cool. Jump down. Jump down. Eli, jump down. Thank you. No, jump down. Thank you. That should do the trick. Oh, now I have to do this one. Oh, so this one's backwards too, in the state that it's not backwards, backwards, but instead of this starting from up, it's starting from. Oh, this one is the backwards one, or upside down. All right, and then up, and then right, and then down. That did it. Cool. I mean, oh, it did already. It. Oh, this door. Cool. Oh, should have brought the fire thingy. Whoops. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia. It's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? What a... So much for avoiding contact. I was about to say. I can't get it with... I got most of them. What, is that not all of them? Oh shit. Direction. They're still looking. Whatever. Just get him. Ugh. You will not escape the shadow. No. Yep. I figured that would be bad. Fuck off. I'm trying to heal. Stop it. Wait, dig it. Take it. No, oh, you can't. Okay. Now take it. Okay. Is there a way up there? How do I get up there? How do I kick your breath? and then shoot. Turn 
Everything's clear. For a moment, anyway. Get moving. We have to find Gaia. Okay. He is demanding AF. Uh. Not missing the skinnies. Simulation results. Okay, Margot Shen to Elizabeth Sobek. I'm sorry if I pronounced that name wrong. I do see that there's an accent above it. Wow, you weren't kidding about Gaia's predilection for the animal morphologies. Sure, not totally unexpected given the rough natural terrain her bots will have to navigate, but I agree that there's something deeper going on here. Her designs aren't just functional, they feel almost like, well, tributes. It's the word that comes to mind. As though she's already mourning their loss, and it's not just the disappearing fauna over time, but the creatures from fossil records too. References to megafauna in some of her designs too. So cool. Well, well, whatever Gaia thinks up, Hephaestus would empower her to, to build it. I just wish we could still be around in a century or two to see what she makes, Margot. Oh, oh. I thought I might have some skills, but I don't. Anything else worth scanning in here? Hollow projector. Oh, what do you project? Hello, <gasps> Wait. I'm Margot Shen, and Fuck. this is Hephaestus. Oh, As the name okay. might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. You made Her this. personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Okay, well, um, Cyan doesn't like him. So, like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. A waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Uh. If Hephaestus was part of a system designed to save life, why would it use Cyan to make a culture? That's what I was wondering. Churn out machines with no other purpose than to kill people. Somehow it's gone rogue. I don't understand why or how. Hades. But whatever the reason, it explains why machines have become more dangerous over the years. It's learning. Alright. So... Elizabeth to Margot, full steam ahead. Margot, if I doubted your brilliance in the slightest, I wouldn't have picked you as Festus Alpha. You need to stop worrying about your age and communication style. You are who you are. Have confidence in yourself. You know what you're doing. Case in point, the latest draft of your plan for the construction and stocking of bootstrap silos are to store new to store raw materials is excellent. This, combined with your design for the AM Foundry Core and the Foundry Site Selection Plan, add up to a comprehensive plan. It's time to start construction. One detail. Consult Iomide Okilo before you finalize the silo inventory. Hephaestus' first task will be to fabricate the robots that will construct the waveform broadcast towers Minerva will use to transmit the deactivation code, so any exotic material is needed for the towers to be accounted for in the inventory plan. Elizabeth. So I take it the broadcast towers are the tall necks? Is this more for Margo? Oh. This isn't a hologram. I don't know why I thought it was. I've seen these shapes before. In cauldrons. But of course. The birthing places of Gaia's machines. So this is what Hephaestus looks like, technically. Excuse me. Hephaestus is just the things that create them. Hmm. I'm still kind of confused. I also don't want to miss anything. Oh, no. That was just a fire striker. Okay. Hello. It's me. Scanny again. Scanny scan. Scanny scan. 
You better let me in. I want to go this way. To the scanny scan. I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobek's office. Ooh. But it, it's sealed off. There's got to be a way inside. Keep looking. I'm looking. More eclipse. Careful now. I want the scanny scan. It better be where that freaking thing is in Elizabeth's office because it wasn't letting me in. I don't know why I'm sneaking. I have the thing where my running is silent. I'm just nervous. Hello. Encapsulated DNA. From Semina Epidaji uh, to Elizabeth. All right, and the winner is Encapsulated DNA. Over the past 10 days, I've performed an extensive review of data storage solutions. Magnetic, optical, quantum. Even that Eternity tech that FAS was selling a year or so ago. But every other solution has one or more fatal shortcomings. Too heavy to transport, too massive to install in the allotted space, too powered and tensile for the centuries, too prone to failure past 300 to 400 years, etc. Encapsulated DNA will easily hold the 40-plus zettabytes we are projecting for Apollo. There are still many details to finalize, of course. To start with, we need to select the inert material in which we'll embody the molecules already testing 16 candidate materials, as well as design and fabricate the de power systems and sealed reliquaries that will keep the DNA at eight, negative 18 degrees C for a thousand plus years. So long as I assure you that it didn't factor into my decision, may I confess that I deem it entirely fitting, indeed proprietous, that it, we will be using the very building blocks of life to preserve human knowledge from mechanized extinction. It's not just ironic, but heroic. Life has a he the hero, beating back the faces of oblivion. In any case, much to do until next time. Peace be with you, Samina. And that's another hollow projector. So this is the Apollo room. Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebadu. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, uh -huh. albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. I agree. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement lost. four major initiatives simultaneously. The gift to us. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around around the world in the around the world, ensuring redundancy. Is a Second, boy. The collection and processing of the projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish, and Arabic. Third, the transferal and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome, and let us begin. I like her. All right, scan this one. Apollo update from Samina to Elizabeth. So over the past two months, the full benefit of a procurement of a copy of Homer archive from Far Zenith has made itself known. As a result, all of Apollo's key deliverables are on schedule. Apollo has already surpassed 40 million discrete data entries and continues to grow. The physical science modules are effectively complete with soft science modules close behind. 
World history, cultural data, and me media archives are also on schedule. Language preservation is wrapping up a bit ahead of schedule due to failing, sh falling short on our goal to preserve 4,500 languages. I suppose the tragic early loss of Papua New Guinea doomed that goal from the outset, with attendant curricula development about to begin. Speaking of the heuristic cur curricula, they are performing well in testing with children and adolescents demonstrating high levels of engagement with and trust in the Aristotle and Apostia persona. persona. Personally, I will... I find them highly engaging, especially when they debate. I wish half my professors had been so entertaining. Peace be with you, Samina. Alright, now I gotta go in there. So is that Apollo? Cool. Missed the stairs. I can't go in there, can I? Be careful. There are people over there. Oh, you don't see shit. Oh, that didn't go as planned. Ah, oh, fuck. Hello? hurt me too. Fuck off. Can't do that. Come on, set off the proximity bombs, bitch. Oh, whatever. Oh, hello. Testimonial. Oopsie. Dr. Sobek, please archive this testimonial in Apollo. Cross reference to all mentions of my name and Operation Enduring Victory. My name is General Aaron Harris. Okay. From 2060 to 2066, I served as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest ranked officer of the United States Armed Forces. The tenure of my command included strategic planning an oversight of Operation Enduring Victory, a falsehood perpetrated on the civilian populations of the United States and other nations during the last 14 months of life on this planet. Before the Pharaoh Plague, I did my job and did it well. I was bold and decisive, crafty in political maneuvers. It wasn't an accident that I rose to my position and became the commander of the largest mechanized force ever assembled. But to what end? My only lasting achievement was the extinction of life on Earth. And my one redeeming act, if any, 
was to delay that extinction by days or weeks, by throwing more death at it. It is my hope that there will be no need for men like me in the world to come. If you are one of the people of that future world, listening to this message, please know that I am sorry and that I wish you well. Mm. Sincerely, Aaron Harris. Anything to say about that, Aloy? No? I don't want to miss anything, but there's such a big area. Let's check. Oh, I missed something here. Or maybe, I don't know. Maybe I missed it up there. Fudge. There's so many! Alright. I guess I'm moving on. I suppose. In a sense, you could put it that way. If you said words in a specific order. I feel like I'm missing so much. I don't know if I'll be able to come back here either, so... That's great. Thank you, noise complaints. Alright, trust heat. Color me confound Lizzie Bashor Lizzie Bashcore. Anyone says the old TT codes to Bashcore straight up line, and you know it, old Trav don't have no truck with commu commercialized rise as nuh uh. Heck I'd rather go to the leader of Satchel runoff than listen to Grace Swarm for thirty seconds. Hand to God, I swear on my mama's grave and she was religious. No, nah, ain't that Bashcore blast in the Hades lab. No, that ain't last core blast in the Hades lab, shaking the walls, rattling folks' teeth. It's death metal, girl. Classic rock. 80s and 90s mostly got me some Dutch death core, some Japanese gore grind, some Swedish cannibal theme stuff, too. Drop by if you want to listen, or heck, come by. Just come with 50 meters up the lab and ain't no bash core you'll see, or hear, rather, in the screech that runs the air and feel in the throbbing pulse of the floor and walls and ceilings swallowing you up like you was Jonah trapped in the gullet of gothic death fish. Hallelujah. As for the co those requests to turn it down, no can do, Lizzie. This is how I code. Turn down my death metal, might as well give up stimulants, chocolate melts, and industrial accident vids. Ac industrial accident vids. Last I heard, we were supposed to be coding Hades down here. Am I really supposed to be coding an extension protocol without death metal to inspire me? Nah, nah, I don't think so. Stay cool, Trav. Oh, I can't... to Hades. Zero Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol. The ultimate killer app. Okay. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the... what? Yeah, Just really. I'm crazy, ain't it? Uh-huh. Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean... Imagine your guy 200 years from now in this new biosphere growing. It's all gone wrong Alkalines are skyrocketing coniferous forests eroding under the lash of super storms that would have drowned Noah It's chaos spinning top that won't stop wobbling. Now. What are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess hope their co2 and methane can balance out what you got started Hell no What you're gonna do Gaia? <laughs> Gaia side. While Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, but he's... Okay, not burn. More like reverse terraforming operations and suffocating. But you get the idea. Kinda. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one. Blank slate. Well, apparently he and doesn't then, like that he's not having to work. Only then does he hand the steering wheel back to Gaia and say, Try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. There's a All problem. Pretty good, of course, but still, kind of metal. <laughs> Okay, but also... So welcome to Hades. Welcome to the Void. Okay, so if that's the original purpose of Hades, 
Why does it want me extinct? Yeah, and it seems to have an issue with you as an entity. Titaned, getting worshipped by the Eclipse like some kind of god. If Hephaestus were rogue, why not Hades too? I guess. That's what I'm thinking, but why? And what caused it? Keep searching, and perhaps we'll find the answer. Okay. Hades protocol. Well, this seems important. Tate here just popped three blues, but I earned it. Finally figured out a Goldilocks solution to Gaia's rather extreme executive authority. If it ain't worth 10 to 12 hours of dream time, what is? Before this, every usur usurpation protocol I designed failed in simulation because it was either too hard or too soft. Too hard, and it degraded the Gaia core. Sure, a prider figurative fingers off the figurative driving wheel so Hades could take control, but by breaking her fingers, sometimes her arms too, so that she couldn't fly. <clears throat> so that couldn't fly. And everything depends on Gaia taking control back after Hades has done his business. So hard. So I had to find a solution that didn't leave Gaia any worse for the wear. Too soft, and Gaia only pretended to relinquish control. In simulation after simulation, Hades would take command of the terraforming system and reverse operations, only to have Gaia lurk in the background, quietly re reversing processes and falsifying Telomari to hide its interfaces. Sneaky, I swear. Ain't nothing Gaia couldn't do to keep life going, even when it's just simulated life plant, plant life. <clears throat> Turns out the just right solution is to isolate Gaia in a protective code shell, preserving its integrity, then unseat it from command position so Hades can slip into the figurative captain's chair and work its magic. Uh, those blues are coming on strong now. I'm not really describing it so clear, but pretty sure it'll work. It'll work. Yeah, those blues are pretty strong. Guess it's time to sleep in bed. I'll get, get I'll back to it tomorrow. Alligators. Okay. Well. That could have been more helpful if you hadn't taken pills. But whatever. Archive abuse. From Samina. This mail concerns Apollo Archive Submission 00002387. Your 666 submission in just five days. Oh, what a doozy. Despite earlier warnings regarding inappropriate materials, you chose to submit 265 holographic remasters of acknowledged classics of extreme exploitation cinema. Allow me then to thank you on two counts. One, for giving me the pleasure of rejecting your submission, thereby co-signing your favorite Eastern European torture flicks and their ilk to the dust heap of oblivion. It truly warms my heart to know that I have saved the future humanity from the ordeal of experiencing one, not one, but all 16 what, exclamation point installments of Making a Millipede. Don't worry, the Paul... Saloni, the Pasolini material has already been preserved, extreme perhaps, but art. For clarifying a concept that has so long been ambiguous and ethically fraught for act archivists such as myself, the definition of obscenity you have freed me from the subjective quagmire embodied in Judge Potter's famous utterance. I know it when I see it, thanks to you. I can now apply a single objective criterion. If Travis Tate, could, if Travis Tate commit, submitted it, it's obscene. According I have directed Apollo staff to similarly reject all of your future submissions, sign sight unseen. Perhaps you might invest your time on you would have spent further uh, okay. Perhaps you might invest some of the time you would have spent preparing further submissions on oh I don't know, your signed work. We do have a world to save after all, or the rest of us do anyway. Dr. Samina up to G up to G. <clears throat> well, I'm getting a little tired of reading all this stuff. Was that it? Cool. Oh. Oh, it's rock. I thought it was like... Looks like the only way onwards. I wanted to get into friggin' Elizabeth's room. Is that just something we can't do? Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the alpha in charge of this program. Now, let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species, unmodified. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and ha! the 2048 clone. accords. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances, but as one of the authors of the accords, it is far from trivial to me. The practical challenges before us are 
staggering in scope and complexity, but not insurmountable. No. Global collision and storage of no. zygotes, perfection of exogenic technologies, design and perfection of servitors to provide nurture and inculcation during early child development, all of these program components must and will proceed in tandem. To say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites around the world. So, si vous êtes prêt, let us begin. Ah. This is what made you, I'm assuming, FC Chambers. All right. Uh, from Patrick to Elizabeth about FG, FC Chambers. The ectogenic chambers arrived two days ago. I spent the last 36 hours examining them and poring over technical documentation. Their revelation, astonishing. I don't know what you had to give for far zenith to, in trade to get these chambers, but it was worth it. In a single leap, their embryologists have vaulted past 50 years of technological shortcomings. The risks of ECMO resolved, nutrition delivery resolved, hormonal stability resolved, other 12 other risk areas resolved. Before I examine these chambers, I considered the Odyssey to be a fool's errand, but if the rest of FC's technology at, is at this level, well, a human colony around Sirius doesn't seem so impossible after all. Mass fabrication of the chambers will present a number of challenges, but I'm confident they can be resolved. I'm going to rest for a few hours and then get back to it. Expect a fabrication plan within 48 hours. Patrick. I don't want to pronounce his last name and butcher it for him. Are these... What I, what I think they are? This is where babies Artificial come from. Wounds. Machines to spawn a new generation of human beings. Do you think there's a baby in there now? Cradle Servitor Persona. Alright. To Elizabeth from Patrick, I'm assuming. Yes. Development of the artificial persona for Cradle Servitor. Nurturer, disciplinary, and healer. Continues at a good pace. We are targeting Turing 0.4 for these constructs. This will allow low-grade empathy and limited improvisation without undermining adherence to codified behavioral ass behavior assets behavior sets. The stimulus driving switching of persona, however, is proving to be a great softener challenge, software challenge than anticipated, especially concerning the entrenched feedback loops between the disciplinarian and the healer persona. I have also attached the reports from an incident where a servitor running the mother persona intervened on a disciplinarian servitor's behavior, a parental argument, if you will. Amusing on first glance, perhaps, but deeply concerning. I have attached a a comprehensive plan for correcting these interactive protocol shortcomings and just data corrupted. Sad. Cradle sealed. To Patrick, from Patrick to Elizabeth. <coughs> Elizabeth. Cradle sealed. Ulithia 01 was successfully sealed before the swarm advancing across Xinjiang province could detect it. Ping back from crit crucial systems is good for our main voyage's success. Regards my dispute... Regards my disputes with the betas over zygote selection, of course. I understand we have limited overhead to run stim simulations of gene flow in our future humans, but we can all agree that there is a margin for refoulement in future cradle populations. Don C. <clears throat> in addition to personally overseeing completion of the Eleuthia Eleuthia O2 site inside Mount Namuli, I will formulate and propose a modified zygote selection plan within the week. PPK. Alright. Is that everything that was in here? I'm thinking so. That's really cool though. Kind of freaky, but really cool that they managed to do that. And keep it going, like keep it... Like... Shut down, I guess, for like so long and then just to keep it going and then... Oh, pops an Aloy. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. Are you having a bit of a existential crisis? Crisis? Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them. There's only one way to be sure. We got to go there. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Now let's go do that. Oh. Hi. We're just gonna, yeah, up to the ladder. Good girl. Hello. 
No, okay, I gotta turn the camera. Up here. Where is Elizabeth's office? Now that it's been mentioned again, I have hopes for those that scanny thing that was in the window. Maybe it's really important and it was like giving me a little bit of foreshadowing, like, here's this. You can't see it yet though. Us would benefit from antelopinate morphologies. Though Kempert forms show superior load bearing capability. I guess this is her office. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. Uh... And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... Sad. I do too. That they passed forever into oblivion causes me to experience a grief that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? No, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. But reassure her. Comfort her. Comfort her. Oh. Elizabeth, if you give it feelings, you gotta comfort it. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Guy, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. Yeah, it sounds there bad. Instead, in fear and agony. What if? What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you, all th In you, all things will what? Live on, because we've got her DNA. I want to find the window I looked through. This is the window I looked through. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is, give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Uh... May I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Pharaoh's argument is sound. At this point, the development when the AI such, tells you to just let it have a failsafe. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. So there. what is it? But I just need so the one for Hades Ted. and Jeez, Ephesus. Let's just do what it says. Oh, we're getting into the juicy stuff now. Looks like it used to hold something. Some component that got removed. What? What got removed? In there? Over here? Up there? I don't understand. In here? Open the door. I. That's important, so I'm gonna look at this first. Odyssey has failed. From Elizabeth Sobek to all alphas. Odyssey has failed. All, some terrible news, I'm afraid. Far Zenith has informed me that the Odyssey mission has failed. Last night, telemetry indicated a catastrophic antimatter containment failure as the drive spun to depart the solar system. The ship, its crew, its cargo of the zygotes and seeds, its alpha build of Apollo were all lost. Zero Dawn is now the only hope for the continuation of human species and earthly life. We must succeed. Elizabeth. Artemis status uh, from Charles. 
It's coming along, Liz. I'm positive about it. If those words can still mean anything, I had my sleeves rolled up negotiating with frozen zoos and their sam- for their samples. So many species trapped in ghoulish hologram dioramas suspended in what ifs more than 14,000 what that went extinct between 2000 and 2043. We've started mapping out primary succession, selecting the pioneer organisms for balanced and sustainable myosphere microorganisms and inspect, insects, rabbits and hawks, foxes and wolves. Thousands more that will have to wait their turn until our new generation can be entrusted with the duty of restoring them so they can return to the world that, this time, will understand the concept of conservation before it's too late. There have already been too many too lates. We lost a whole con- collection team during the swarm breakthrough in Myanmar. Myanmar. The samples were lost, we lost were, well, irreplaceable. But thanks to you, Liz, the circle of life will bend, not break. The earth was a lifeless rock before, not some day it will be again, but not now. Not like this. Not on our watch, Ronson. Anything else in here? Should have brought a cart. Ugh. The Alpha Registry cool. Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside all mother. This man is so demanding. Just open it. Frank. To grasp the secrets within. Just download it. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. I think it was one of those cradles. Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? She took that question a lot better than the whole you don't have a mother thing. Uh-oh. Eclipse. Yep. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Thank you. Download, download, download. Hey, I've seen that guy before. Haven't I? Or no, maybe the guy Nix. Nils? Something? Oop. Did I get the file? Is it corrupted? Hi, you look familiar. Are you the guy that killed? Yeah, aren't you the guy that killed Still fucking alive. Good. um Rost? I have a more suitable death in mind for you, child. What? Ow. 